Hey everyone, welcome back. Robbie the Painter here, and so glad to see you back on the Beginner Series. This is going to be episode number three in the Beginner Series. If you didn't see one and two, uh, I'll put a link in the description. Go back and watch those because it's we're going to take the painting we did in number two, which is this one here, and it's dry now. It's been a few days um, since I shot that episode. We were using paint thinner as our medium which helped this dry a lot quicker. If we'd have been using linseed oil, this might still be tacky or, or you know, kind of wet. Um, but because we use the paint thinner, it's dried a little quicker. We're gonna add on to this. I wanna show you how to create depth, distance. We're gonna put a few more details in. I'm gonna try not to make this a very long episode so we can get into the next episode, number four, and start adding some, some color and uh, some other cool things to, uh, to that episode. I've got my paint palette right here. We're only gonna be using a few colors, I think. If I add anything else to it, I'll put it, uh, you know, I'll put it over here. I'm also only gonna be using about five, six brushes. Got a fan brush, got a couple flat brushes, got a liner brush, I've got a small round brush, and a palette knife, maybe to mix some colors. As I talked about in the last episode, the farther things are away from you, the lighter they get. So these, these rows of trees, which were basically just little lines we painted um, to make it look like distant trees, we wanted those to be lighter than this middle hill and those trees. And then these trees in the foreground are darker still. Well, the land, you want that uh, to do the same. What if we want to make this background look even farther away? What would we do? Well, I'm thinking maybe we could put a distant mountain or the indication of a distant mountain. So let's do that. I'm gonna use my little round brush, dip into a little bit of paint thinner to thin this paint. Remember, we can put the paint directly from the tube onto the canvas, mix up a color and put it directly on there. And sometimes we might do that, but it doesn't move very well. So we're gonna use paint thinner as our medium. That's what they call a medium, something you mix with paint. A distant mountain, let's see. I've got Prussian blue and I've got some titanium white. I don't think I want this mountain to be blue, blue, blue. We want it to be lighter because it's farther away. If it was in the foreground, we'd be making it brown, black, dark blue because it's, it's right in your face. But if it's far away, you might just see a hint of a mountain. Let's take that idea. Let's come back here. And that's a little light. So we're testing. I mixed up a light blue. Let's go a little darker so we can at least see a possible outline of a mountain. We're just making a shape. If you don't want to do this in your painting, you don't have to. I'm showing you, we can add a mountain in the background. And I'm grabbing some Prussian blue. Notice how I, I made a little uh, outline of the mountain. Just going into a little bit of the Prussian blue straight. So we get that, that outline of the mountain. We don't want it to be too, we don't want it to stand out too much. Again, we want it to be in the distance. And then I'm grabbing some Prussian blue and just putting some here and there on this mountain. We step back and we take a look. It's starting to look like a mountain. Now, if you say, well, Rob, that looks, that looks good, but I'd like my mountain to stand out just a little more, even though it's in the background, we could grab a little bit of midnight black on, and I'm not washing my, my brush in a couple places. Just in a couple places. And again, it wasn't that hard to do the outline of, of a mountain. Let's see if I can draw on my paint palette here. Your mountain doesn't have to be just a peak like that. You can start from one side 
of wherever you're gonna, wherever we're gonna do our mountain. Start from one side and start low, and you come up and down and up and down and over. And there's a mountain right there. It's that easy, does it? There is no proper shape to a mountain. You can do it any way you want. And right now we're just adding a little midnight black just to kind of indicate there's some, some depth in this mountain. There's some shaded and shadow areas. We don't want to do too much. Because it's far away. Might even be too much. So I'm going to take my brush and just kind of rub this black in. Mix it with that blue we put on. Just taking my brush and going back and forth. Remember, I've told you in previous episodes that if you get a color on like a tree or something and it's a little too bright or there's too much color in that, wipe it off, take your take your dry brush or fairly dry brush and keep rubbing over that area and it'll tone that color down. And that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna tone this whole thing down, keeping that mountain shape. I'm not changing the top of the, uh, the shape we made. We got a couple colors, a little midnight black, a little Prussian blue in there and we created a mountain. On to the next thing as far as distance. I wanna make this, this ground in front of that mountain look like it's even farther back. And I think the best way is to make this land lighter. Without washing my brush, I'm gonna grab some titanium white, come over into this Indian yellow, grab a little paint thinner, it's pretty thick. All right, we're just gonna thin this down. So titanium white, Indian yellow, we'll see. We want a light color. What we're doing, we're gonna make this land here look really light. We're gonna change some of the colors here. We're gonna come under this distant tree line right here and add some of this color we just mixed up with the Indian yellow, titanium white. Underneath that distant tree line. Now I'm gonna come all the way over here to where we can't see where that land goes. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint over some of these, this, this middle hill trees. If I need to, I can always put the trees back in. So let's do that. Let's, let's lighten this up right here. Just gonna make a really light area back here in the distance. with this Indian yellow and titanium white. Already that it separates the different planes. We've got, we've added a mountain. We've got this distant row of trees. And if, and if we're not seeing those trees very well, let's take this brownish yellow color we just mixed up by taking Van Dyke Brown, which is very, a very dark brown, adding in a little bit of uh, titanium white and a little bit of Indian yellow, kind of a rusty brown color. We're gonna come back here in front of this mountain where our, remember this distant tree line we put in? It's kind of disappeared a little bit, which is, we want it to be light, but let's, let's come back here and put some more lines to indicate these trees. And maybe every now and then there is a different kind of tree. So let's just tap like we're doing leaves. Big oak type of tree and draw his trunk down just the indication and we're not putting this brown everywhere we want some of that original green and yellow color that we made our trees we want that to show through some of this we're just adding some other colors give the indication there's distant trees. 
maybe go into straight Van Dyke Brown very carefully. Draw a couple of branches to this tree. I'm going to grab a little bit of straight Van Dyke Brown right here where the light yellow in that tree line is. Just darken this up just a hair. Create some more, something interesting here. Okay, I think we're good right there. All right, now let's come forward a little bit. Let's look at this tree line over here. Let's add a little bit of straight Van Dyke Brown. We'll see if this is too dark. We're gonna leave the tops of these trees alone right now. Let's come down here underneath and add a little bit of darker color. And on some of these trees, I'm gonna go on the left-hand side of the trees go straight Van Dyke Brown let's, let's come out here just a little bit farther like this this line of trees here comes we're gonna add some more trees to it okay I'm gonna grab that medium color that we had maybe even a little more white lighten it up quite a bit A lighter color here and just touching making little dots behind these green trees like there's trees way back there little tiny dots with this very light brown color maybe one over here on this side just making dots little shapes. Let's come into this area right here. We're going to take Midnight Black, a little sap green, make that dark tree color. Let's draw some, some bushes here. Just making shapes. Right into that color. These are more like bushes, a little wider, and I'm just tapping, just tapping. You can go any direction if you that you want with these bushes, you know. They can be wide, short, they can go a little taller. You could have one out here. It's a little taller. We just go up like that. And then put a little ground underneath these guys. And maybe they come back here and disappear behind this, this hill. We just draw a little bit of ground underneath them. take it over here and like that again I'm just showing you how you can take and start layering some some more elements push your painting way back this mountain this distant group of trees another tree line over here more here I'm not sure I'm, I'm liking this one here just yet but we'll, we'll I keep looking at it like I need to do something like I put too much brown here in it but uh, maybe if I take some of this brown and just pull up on it. By pulling this brown up gives the indication. Well, 
well for one it's not quite as dark down here I'm taking some of that paint and moving it and the other thing is looks like there's some more brush and shrubbery there that dark color we mixed up over here let's add white to it we're gonna lighten that up still using this small round brush let's come underneath here and touch let's highlight some of this ground that's underneath here grab some more paint change in the color a little bit a little more green sometimes we don't need to tap we can take and just pull the brush and get that green to come off of there And down here, see how we just created several different colors of green. The original that was up there, a little lighter. We've got some of these uh, trees and distant bushes and stuff like that. Let's grab some more green and black. And let's just draw some lines. Let's separate, leave, leave some light area here. and draw in some dark. Grab some more paint. Make it a little darker back here, going right over that pine tree. Whatever we want to do. Ground's changing color as it as it comes forward. Maybe connect this a little more here. We can take our finger and rub that and smooth that out. Blend it a little bit. Wipe your finger off. Again, I'm showing you how to take that simple painting we had. We're going to start adding stuff to it and turn it into something that's a little better, a little more skill level, and it's not that hard to do. We're gonna stop right there for episode number three of, of this beginner series. We're at about the 20 minute mark. I don't wanna make these too long, um, but episode number four will be coming. We're gonna add more to this painting and keep going, keep adding, you know, take a simple painting, and, and I wanna show you how you can really spice it up and add some things that'll be cool Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.